sent him to earth born in a manger because as a lamb where else would a lamb be born but we're animals so. and he was separated by his father we know nothing from he was 12 till he was 30 18 silent years Scholars have said that he was in training upon his life. It was the anointing. Uh, Luke declared, for the spirit of the Lord is upon me. You see, I tell folks all the time, every believer receive two anointings in your life. There is an anointing that God placed in you to protect you from false doctrine and deception. And it guards you and it guides you and it governs you. But there is another anointing that God place upon you. That anointing is not for you. It is for the folks that you're going to come in contact with. Can somebody say amen? You see, many times in our churches we have programs, but we have no anointing. Many times in our churches we have activities, but there is no anointing. And Jesus was so different from his disciples because of the anointing. He was so anointed that the wind and the sea obey him. Can I I talk to somebody tonight. He was so anointed that he was passing by the cemetery and a man possessed with the devil. And all when the devil saw him, he didn't have to say anything. The demon said, we know who you are. Oh God, you are the son of God. But why do you come to torment us before the time? But Jesus said, hold your peace and come out of him. And so he was so anointed that death obeyed half. Because while the Son of Man was on the cross, the Son of God was in hell taking the keys of death and hell from the devil. Are oh, you listening to me? Somebody said, Jesus neither slumber and he doesn't sleep. But one young man said, I don't understand it. If God don't slumber, if God don't sleep, how come Jesus was asleep in the ship? But Bishop, hear me, on his daddy's side, he neither slumber nor sleep. But on his Mommy side, he may, I don't hear nobody say anything, he may slumber and sleep on his daddy's side, he will not bow on his mommy side, he may get tired and hungry on his daddy's side, he's the God of the universe on his mommy side, he has to be anointed like him. you and I, I'm here to tell you tonight that when the anointing is in your life, even in death, like Elisha, you're going to raise up the dead. You're going to raise up the dead. It is the anointing. It is the anointing. It is the anointing. It is the anointing. It is nothing else but the anointing. Mm. That makes the difference. And so I say all of that to say that the most important symbol today is the if there is no shedding of blood there is no remission of sin men of god if you preach the cross you're preaching the power of god i heard the bible says that the 
gospel is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it. And when you have the cross before you, hell is in trouble. Can I stop by tonight to tell somebody everything you need is in the cross. There's a house in the cross. There's a husband in the cross. There's a vehicle in the cross. There's a ministry in the cross. There's healing in the cross. There's deliverance in the cross. There's salvation in the cross. Ah, there's power in the cross. There is anointing in the cross. I encourage you tonight. Look to the cross. 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 Everything you need is in the cross. Everything you need is in the cross. Everything you need is in the cross. The devil's ultimate purpose was to prevent him from going to the cross. Every group, it touch every class, it touches every creed, it touch every color, it breaks every barrier, it brings men together, it delivers the soul of men, it touches every nation, it touches every language, it touches every people, it touches every color. One piece of wood is so important, it was not even a smooth piece of wood, it was a rugged piece of wood, but the power that is in the cross so I cherish the old How many of you cherish that cross tonight? You are here tonight because the cross was erected on the place of a scholar. You are here tonight because he walked with his cross from Pilate's judgment hall to the place of a scholar. You are here tonight because he looked down in the sands of time and he saw you and I in our sin, in our mess, in our unrighteousness. He said, Father, I, I will die the cross, the cross, the cross, the cross, the cross, the cross, the cross. Somebody show them. I don't know about you tonight, but it makes me excited to know that I was a drug man. I was a Rastafarian. I was a gunman. I was dying with cancer, 1982. Selassie couldn't help me. Bob Marley couldn't help me. Mr. Moon couldn't help me. Krishna couldn't help me. But when I call on the name, when I call, 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 when I call on the name of Jesus, of Jesus. In the cross, in the cross, in the cross, my glory, in the cross, my redemption is in the cross, my deliverance is in the cross, my salvation is in the cross, my healing is in the cross, my victory is in the cross, my power is in the cross. My miracle is in the cross. Anything you need, put somebody up, tell them it's in the cross. It's in the cross. It's in the cross. It's in the cross. Hi, hi, hi. It's in the cross. So I glory. So I glory. 